Hello everybody, welcome back. Um, going over a, how to use the Rolling Thunder Skyhawk uh, module. The Rolling Thunder, Thunder Skyhawk will be released by Legion Games, designed by um, Stephen Dixon. Um, I kept this kind of simple, uh, but it does have some bells and whistles in it, so we'll go over that briefly. Uh, as always, uh, start about 75%. The uh, map will uh, blow up. I like to show off the artwork that uh, these guys put into these games, make it worth their while. Um, you'll start out with your movable pieces, your divisions, whether you're playing with divisions or your single plane, if you're just playing with uh, single plane launch. These will also move anywhere as you want them to and reset when you reset mission, but uh, you can just go ahead and click your way through it. They'll click through the various uh, stages. Um, you can put the altitude on there to help show you um, what altitude you're on. If you don't feel like going back and forth through the uh, mission log, which we'll go back, we'll go to later. Your small arms and everything, they'll they'll have the, you just uh, click on the box wherever they are, and um, actually that should turn. And I did not put that. All right, um, maybe I'll fix that up so it automatically turns. Um, let's see here. Um, search and rescue. This can go shot down over land, shot down ditch. It'll go there, and then you can always just, that, when you're done, obviously go to re return to the... Uh, and to reset the mission not a whole lot to that your target you come over here and you're going to hit this i may put something in there to remind you that that's where the target button is uh just to keep things simple um radar on and radar off just flags on and off and then of course a reset uh that's it for the major the main page um counters i left a lot of this just drag out of the uh counters box um the 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 um, most of these awards are on the uh, paper doll, which we'll get to later. Uh, unit awards, not so much. Um, ordinance, um, left that all drag and drop. Uh, all your Skyhawks, drag and drop. All your pilots, drag and drop. Uh, Got to watch that Teufel Hun guy. And they have the open face mask or closed face mask because um, they're available in the game. So. I put everything in there that's available. And your optional markers for your down pilots, your uh, A1 Sky Raider, your Rescue Chop, your Duncan Golf, not really a, a uh, optional, but uh, and maintenance skill level. These two you really don't need because they're on here. Your maintenance skill level is over here. Um, let's see. On to the next. Campaign calendar. I made this a lot like those of you that have combat. No... Uh, yeah, I've seen my combat module. You know what the campaign calendar is like in there. I've done the same thing here. It should tally your victory points up here if you do things nice, uh, correctly. On each um, day, you're going to be able to have new mission. And you can reset this or you can reset individual ones just by clicking on it and uh, control or even though I did not leave a, um, a menu on there, I could do that. Um, mission location, you're going to enter that in. Oh, uh, say we're going to. Oh, yeah. If we could spell Hanoi. Uh, we got a mission. No, we did mission location. Then we got mission type, which is going to be. Let's see. We're going after. Eh, we're going after Sam's route package. Say we're on route package four or five. And then when you're done, you're going to go put your mission VP in here. Say we scored 40% bombs on target. We're going to put that there, and it's going to tabulate your victory points up here. And you can keep track of where you're at on your mission. And when you're done, just get clear or, of course, load a new game in. Uh, the blue is one campaign. The blue underlined. Red is the other campaign underlined. I've grayed out everything that doesn't uh, apply. Calendar is, again, um, Zoomable, unzoomable, and you can take a screenshot of it at any time. Rename that whatever you want, PNG. Uh, we go on to your division record sheet where you keep track of your division loadouts. Now, there are two of these, so you can have four divisions. 
flying at one time. These also clear easily, um, though it will not clear the name. So if I put a name in here, um, you'll have to clear that out on your own. Boom. Now I'll keep a track of the wounds and the hits and the loadouts. I have the loadouts gone by um, uh, selectable lists. I should have everything included in there. If it says up to six, I've got up to six loaded in here, so you can go through and select everything that you got for that loadout. Those will clear out at the end of the mission. That's the division worksheets. We go to the ordnance card. Really nothing special on this. You're going to use the division, uh, the, the load card, and just going to drag the pieces out as you get to them. Ordnance over here. You're going to want to put a um, bull pup in there. You're going to put a bull pup in there. It's just simple drag and drop. And when you're done, just hit clear ordinance to clear out your loadout um, next up is the mission record uh, you're going to have your pilot you're going to draw your pilot counter over from your pieces pilot rating um, that's automatic that will not do anything special reset that goes down to the air wounds all this stuff is either right click or left click left click is going to automatically do it Altitude, I told you on the main page, you can keep track of that here, as you would in the real game. Um, everything else, you just go through and select it. If you have damage, and that all works, you've got your name down here. Some of this, the information that doesn't change from log to log should reset. Everything else should stay in there to save you some paperwork. When you're done, I would suggest after each mission, if you'd like to track that stuff, um, just go ahead and take a screenshot of it and save, save it as a PNG. That's what I end up doing. So I can go back and look to see what I've done in missions past. And um, rather than keep a physical log around or have 40 different sheets in here that you got to keep track of, I just I, that's the way I've been doing my... Uh, keeps the module size down and keeps the... Uh, I, I, obviously, the um, assembly of the module... Uh, time down too. Um, so there you have the mission record. Um, everything's automated in there. Lots of room for notes. I filled up all the spaces and notes so you can keep lots of notes if you so desire. Um, division squadron assignment card where you'll draw your pilots and your your planes. Um, just nothing special there. Just drag and drop. And a paper doll. Paper dolls next. Um, as, as you get the medals, you're going to go ahead and just click on this and do it to uh, add the counter. Tonk can go off. You get that right away. Um, reset the awards. Clears all them out. Quite simple. Um, if you get a group award, just drag it onto the sheet from the pieces. Um, next up. Um, I did not update this. I think it's the same. I will update that. That's going to probably change. One thing I did forget to do. Things have been a little busy here lately. Campaign record sheet. Uh, you really don't need this. Uh, you can use the campaign calendar, but those of you that like it, uh, it it's all automated for you. Added, enter the date, enter the targets, enter the types, route packages, um, your results on and, on and off, and enter both on the same one as I did in combat with the uh, weapon skills and everything, and then your total points over here. Um, so you have your logs if you need them. Uh, next up is the pilot roster for your campaign sheet. That is fully fillable too. And um, uh, that's there to be used. To. And again, I suggest if you want to keep track of things as you go, just save it as PNG as you, before you make changes. Uh, reset mission, obviously just sends all the pieces back to where they belong. Quite simple. I kept this one simple. Not a lot of uh, bells and whistles to it. And um, I hope you enjoy it. I really like this game. It was part of the testing of it. It's a, it's a great game. Fun to play. Quick play. You get it down. You can knock a mission or two out, especially with Vassal. You don't have to worry about setting things up, knocking them down. Um, you can run a campaign through at your leisure. And um, really a fun game to play. Thanks, everybody, for joining me. That is Skyhawk, uh, actually Rolling Thunder Skyhawk by Legion Games, designed by Stephen Dixon. I hope you all have a great day. Thanks for joining me.